Weather Super 7-Day Forecast. All right, we have plenty of sun this weekend. Yesterday, today started out pretty sunny, but we are starting to see some clouds, cooler weather here and there. Yeah, exactly. And, and the good thing is we have sunshine. Look, it's still beautiful out. I personally love that little taste of the 70s we have, but right now San Diego is in the lower 60s. Then we're seeing a little bit of overcast conditions starting to creep in. That's going to be that marine layer that's going to build up throughout the night. And we have a light breeze coming from the southwest at 12 miles per hour. But we are in the middle of a cool down. We can see San Diego, for instance, it's about 13 degrees cooler than we were this time yesterday. Seeing similar numbers for many of those valley neighborhoods and also for the mountains and the desert. So throughout the night, we're going to continue to feel those slightly, uh, slightly cool temperatures, although we will be hanging out in the upper 50s in San Diego for much of the night. Again, we'll see a bit of cloud coverage. The same is going to be true for those inland communities, except their cool downs going to happen a little bit quicker as they reach down into those lower 50s. And we're expecting some patchy fog to develop overnight. But the good news for everyone getting ready to go to work for tomorrow is that for most of us, that fog is going to be out of the way by the time we're driving to work. It leaves us pretty quickly for tomorrow, and so it shouldn't impact very many people's commutes. But what, what people may see during that time is a little bit of patchy drizzle. We can see just throughout the early morning hours some light sprinkles of rainfall. Those are going to see those are going to reach rather the coast and the valley neighborhoods. And we're not expecting a lot of rain, really just a few droplets, nothing that's going to accumulate over time. And the last thing we really have to think about for tomorrow is lots of wind. I'm focusing on the mountains in the deserts for this. There are going to be some spots where those peak wind gusts could reach right up near 50 miles per hour. I'm looking at Aquatia Wells that could easily see over 40 miles per hour. And then we're going to see some wind as well over the next couple of days. But tomorrow is going to feel great. Similarly to today, San Diego is going to be partly cloudy after that drizzle. And we're going to see that cloud coverage start pretty substantial in the morning, then gradually leave us behind. England commuters reaching the lower 70s, mountains hitting 70 degrees, and in the desert, 98 degrees. Very hot and very windy. So what's happening here long term is that we've had a trough of low pressure, kind of keeping our temperatures a little bit lower than when we saw near 80 on Friday, for instance. But pressure is going to gradually build back up, so we have a cool couple of days. And then when we see that pressure build, think of it almost like a bubble of warm air. It's kind of keeping those temperatures a little bit higher. So when we look at San Diego's seven-day forecast, a high of 65 for Monday, high of 66 for Tuesday, and then by the time pressure builds again, I'm looking at Thursday and Friday, we're right back up near 70 degrees, although we're going to see some patchy fog and some cloudy conditions each morning this week. And for those inland communities, expect 70s or lower 70s for the beginning of the week, upper 70s towards the end. In the mountains, plenty of wind over the next two days. After that, relatively clear and sunny. And finally, into the mountains, we're going to see some hot weather. Triple digits in store a little later in the week.